man down. That, oh, that's already, oh. It's weird, but we'll try it. Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Nicola, and today we are trying Chick-fil-A. Yeah. As Brits that live in the US, but has never tried this. We're trying to get over the fascination with chicken sandwiches. And we've tried Popeyes already. Yeah, that was delicious. Which was our delicious. first attempt at a fried chicken sandwich in the US. That was delicious. And that was good. Uh -huh. But we had nothing to put it up against. And also see, people seem obsessed with chicken, Chick-fil-A. I want some Chick-fil-A, yeah. I want some chick My first impressions of this is there's not much. No. So we so, got... So we spent $25. Yeah. Um, and what did we get? We got <laughs> this this container of fries, which they didn't go over the top with filling. But they're waffle fries. And then they got these chicken nuggets, but there's not many in there no. at all. So we're wondering where the rest of it is. And then we got a chicken burger. But apparently they're famous for their, oh, that's all these, oh, that's all your leaking juice. If you can see that, it's leaking. Oh. Leaking juice. Oh. <laughs> and then we got the sauces. And to drink, we got their famous old fashioned lemonade. Yeah. And the ever popular chocolate milkshake with cream and a cherry. I think we should start. Where do you want to start? Lemonade. Okay. First, let's freshen our palate. Who's going to go for the food? Wow, that kicks. That is delicious to me. That is very, very sweet, but very tart. It is very tart and a little oh. too sweet for me. I would prefer the sweetness to be gone. The tartness I would prefer to go. That, now, is, that is quite severe. I love the tartness of that. I just don't like the sweet. It also has little it's, pieces of lemon in it as well. So it's not like just a, a, a cordial or a juice as we would call it. I think you're either a sweet or a sour person. I'm very sweet, she's always sour. I mean, no, I can't argue with that. I do love a, <laughs> do love a sour drink. Uh, so, this is gonna get cold, so I wanna start eating. I can see you're dribbling. I am dribbling, I am dribbling. <laughs> I'm gonna start with these fries. They're not very, they don't, they're not very warm and they've not been sat here for a long time. And they, she, the lady that helped us said that we have to try the signature chick-fil-a sauce so apparently this is the famous sauce that mm. they have and i'm not sure oh, that is. i'm not sure oh, what it wow. is whether it's like a mayonnaise uh -oh. or a, but yeah, it's, no it's, it's, it. oh. it's kind of yellow oh it's delicious so I, i'm i'm not quite sure whether you can see that but it's a little nondescript well it's delicious I don't like it. Yes, but I'm trying to work out what it is. It's it's almost like a honey undertone. It's sweet. But it's got a little barbecue to it, has it? Or is that just me? No, it has. It has, oh. The, but if so you just look at the ingredients, it's got mustard in it, mm. salt, paprika, gin, no, garlic, vinegar. So it's like a barbecue honey, honey sweetness type sauce. These are disappointing though. Mm. These are both lukewarm and not very crispy, which is never a good thing with chips or fries or even waffle fries. I think we should they try need to it. be hot. And really and hot and crispy. And crispy. I think we should try the honey mustard though, because this that's not honey mustard. So what does honey mustard taste like? Oh, that's very yellow. I don't think there's many additives in that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So, no, no, no. Kind of yellowy. No, I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> not a fan. I don't, I don't mind that. It's kind of very, it's got like a mustard kick to it, hasn't it? It has, but I just don't. But it's I not mean, got the, um, like the sharpness of a, ugh. of a normal mustard. I'm not a fan of that one. No, we'll leave that one to one side. And we've then, tried it. We've been here, we've tried it. I'm trying the chicken nuggets next. Go These are it. really small nuggets. Let me just show you the container. That is the container, and you can't tell on camera, so I'm gonna put my hand. Let me see if I close this. There you go. That's the size of the nuggets. 
Ah, there's, there's barely enough for it's sake. Oh, man down. <laughs> well, you said you didn't like the fries. <laughs> so, I mean, if you didn't like them, you'd never throw them away. They're, oh all over, they're all over the car. And the car, oh my God. Did not have to throw them, so. I think I've salvaged most of them. What are the nuggets like? Very chickeny. They're actually just, really quite good. I'm just not sure. That's tiny, isn't it? It is, but it's very good. It's, it's um... I can't get over the size. I know they say size isn't everything, but... It's crispy. Not... Actually, again, they're a bit lukewarm. I think if they were hot and fresh out of the fryer, they'd have been delicious. The, bat, the batter's got a nice taste to it. I it think. does taste oh. really good. It's a bit salty Great. though. Yeah. It does taste good, but it's just... I think they needed to be hotter. Mm. I think that's what it is. They needed to be hot and crispy and they're not really... Try one more, just to make sure. Oh no. Is it greased up everywhere? It's not greasy, it's leaking. Look at look. It's all leaking. That's so this is their classic American chicken burger. So I wonder if it's with the tomato that's making no because it's not the top of that it's even. inside it's dry. So what is leaking in it? I have no idea. They must have left it on a wet surface. Yeah. We're having a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. This is and I'm I'm sorry, but I've got to remove the tomato because what's Why'd, the point? What, what is the point, point of these? Mm. Hate them. <laughs> so, sounds crispy. What's on it? <sighs> it has really got, got it in your mouth. Oh, it's a good job you asked me that because there's another sneaky little ah, tomato see, in there. There you go. You're welcome. Thanks. So it has cheese. Cheese on a chicken bug. Okay. Um, the chicken burger, lettuce, again, a pickle or gherkin, and that's it. There's no sauce on this at all. I'm sensing dryness. I'm sensing you can put whatever sauce you like best on there, so it's probably better. Right, here we get some more sauce. Mm-hmm. My favourite. I mean, if it's just it's a, it's, just, it's it's a oh, good chicken burger. It's just okay. But it's a bit average. Mm. It's not blowing me away. It's okay. It's not bad. Um, it tastes okay. I mean, the chicken isn't massive, is it? It's not like it's a big, thick piece of chicken. Or... No, but it's it's still quite succulent, though, isn't it? For a chicken breast, I'm going to try it with this sauce because. It's not bad. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 I'm going to go with just okay on that so far. It's not blowing me away. I wouldn't, I wouldn't rush back to taste that again, would you? No. Cons uh, considering the amount everybody goes on about how good Chick fil A is, Maybe that's why I built it up in my mind it was going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Or maybe it's because, I mean, the batter itself tastes really good. It's tasty. There's nothing I can fault about it. It's just not blowing me away. Here we go. Um, maybe we came on a bad day because everything is very lukewarm. Mm. I'm impressed. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's well seasoned. It's just, I don't know what's missing from it. I think if there was crunchier on the outer shell, mm. it would be better. Mm. I think it's missing that crunch. Yeah, there's there's literally but, no, if you look at it, there's literally no, no batter. batter on it at all, or mm -hmm. no crumb. Yeah, I think if coating. it had that crunch to it, you'd be like, oh, because the taste, the flavor's there. Everything is there. I just think it's very lightly battered, mm. which is a shame. Really? Because mm. it's just, it's okay. I don't know why I keep looking in the bag, hoping there's going to be more things at the bottom of it, but there's not. no. Mm -mm. Quite nice with this sauce. I like the idea that you can put your own sauce on because 
when you have somebody you you can customize it which i think is great because you're not relying because not everybody likes mayonnaise or not everybody likes ketchup so being able to customize it great idea was i blown away by it no so the last thing we need to try is the milkshake then oh yeah and that no chocolate milkshake time you know what that means don't you that means. that means that you have to dip a fry <laughs> in your chocolate milkshake what that's what everybody does over here, apparently. Who does? Don't know, I've never seen it, but apparently that's what people do. And you're going to do it too. Right, do I no, go got, straight you, in or no, do I? because that's just cream, isn't it? So you need to get to the actual chocolatey bit. Do I? Mm. Given a lot of instruction here, like I know. So, <laughs> and you're believing me. Cherries, talk me through them. I don't get it. Delicious. Do you want it? No, it's got cream all over it. Can't stand fresh cream. I want to lick it clean. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to lick my cherry? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I would not. Um, just throw it away. Let me just I'm let me take it off. I'm looking for something to do with it. <laughs> take it off. Oh my god! Look at my child. Hmm, it's good. Is it chocolatey? Not particularly. It's not over Is it chocolate. Malty? It's not over chocolatey. In Is it malty? I think it's just okay, isn't it? Very um, milky and sweet, yeah. but not massively chocolatey. Yes. So yeah. it's very milky, it's very sweet. Maybe the cream not... on the top is the problem. It's too much cream. I'm not getting it, you're not going to get the cream yet because you're nowhere near it. Mm. Yeah. So come on, dip your fries in. So apparently, I have to do this. And seeing as though Nicola doesn't like cream, it's left up to me. So apparently, it's a thing. School person error. So, you should have just ordered it without the, the the cream, and then I'd have had to have had it. But you didn't. You went for the fresh cream. How long have you known me? So, this is either a thing or I'm being pranked. No, it's a thing. Because apparently, this is a thing it's on the internet thing. where you poke your fry. waffle fry in your chocolate milkshake. So, go on. What are we, what are we waiting for? Just do it. I'm going in. Do it. Do it. Do it. I don't know how much. I've got a large amount of cream on it now. So how is it? Surprisingly good. No. <laughs> You've got it in your beard and everything. It's surprisingly good. Why? What's what's good about it? Tell me. Well, you've got like the saltiness of the chips. Yeah, the fries. And then, the, yeah, the fries, the waffle fries. And then you've got the sweetness of the thing. It's, it, it's weird. But we'll try it. Definitely worth. And on that bombshell, <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>